Hello everyone. In this problem, a block of mass M moves on a horizontal circle against the wall of a cylindrical room of radius R. The floor of the room on which the block moves is smooth but the frictional coefficient between the wall and the block is mu. The block is given an initial speed V0. As a function of the speed V, write number 1 the normal force by the wall on the block. Second, the frictional force by the wall and the third is the tangential acceleration of the block and D is integrate the tangential acceleration to obtain the speed of the block after one revolution. So on this one, let's say there is a block which is placed like this. So when this room is rotating, let's say this is rotating at a speed of omega. So the centrifugal force will act out outward direction which is mv square by r. The normal force, let's say this is n1. There will be another normal force which is n2 due to mass of this object and it is acting downward direction. Since the surface of this object is smooth, and this n2 will be exactly is equal to mg so that means we should only concentrate on n1 now for the first part which is part a the normal force by the wall on the block is nothing but equal to n1 and that is equal to mv square by r now for part b where we have to calculate the frictional force by the wall on this object so by the wall is going to be f is equal to mu times n1 so that means mu times mv square by r so this is part b now for part c the tangential acceleration of the block now try to understand uh, let's observe this scenario from the top view where this is the cylinder and the object is placed like this right here the velocity is in this direction so that means the AT will also be in this direction along the V, right? The frictional force will act in the opposite to direction of V, right? Again, the MV square by R is in the right hand direction and the N1 is in left direction. So that means this frictional force is nothing but minus mu times N. So minus sign because it is acting against V, right? So here it is going to be the frictional force which is a required one is going to be m times a t which is a tangential is equal to mu times n and here n is nothing but n1 and which is equal to m v square by r there was minus sign here so m will cancel out so a t will become minus mu v square by r so this is for part c now for part d we have to integrate the tangential acceleration dv upon dt is equal to v dv upon ds so this is uh, quite very simple so at is dv upon dt now we can also write uh, it as ds upon ds which was equal to minus mu times v square by r now ds upon dt is equal to v into dv upon ds is equal to minus mu v square by r so one v cancel out this will become dv upon v is equal to minus mu by r into ds now the limits will be v naught to v and in one complete revolution it will move from 0 to 2 pi r 1 upon v integration is natural log v limit v naught to v is equal to minus mu by r mu by r s 0 to 2 pi r so this will further become ln v minus ln v naught is equal to minus mu by r into 2 pi r r will cancel out and this we can write it as ln v upon v naught is equal to minus mu into 2 pi or it is v is equal to v naught times e power minus mu into 2 pi so this is the solution of this problem